Welcome to the Focus Forum, everybody. Delighted to say that Dion Dublin and Paul Ince are here. And we're going to talk about the issue which has been big in the news in the, in the previous few days of uh, black managers in football. There were none at the start of the season. We've now got Chris Powell and Keith Curl involved in that role. Paul, as a previous manager yourself and someone who I'd imagine wants to get back into mm -hmm. management, what is your assessment of the issue as we stand at the moment? Um, I think, first and foremost, it's always... Um, you know, you think, think about last year. I think last year we had this... Um, the bloke come over from America about this Rooney rule. Which is in place, and for those who don't is know, yeah. for every job place. there is a black candidate on that, yeah. on that list. Without a doubt, and um, I think we kind of had a two-week spell last year where everyone was talking about the mm. press, the radio, and all of a sudden then it's just been swept under the carpet. You know, it's just like it's been there and gone. Um, and I think, to be fair, it's a, it's a great rule to have, and I think it's something we should implement into our game. Um, but also, it's not just about that. It's also you have to do your qualifications. It's no good saying, well, you know, I'm black or yellow or pink, but I've got <coughs> my qualifications. Agree. You know, because then, then you, people are putting obstacles in your way. You've got to make sure you've done your B licence, A licence, Pro licence, and there's no reason why you then you should be getting interviewed for jobs. The argument that somebody will throw back at you mm -hmm. is that it should always be the best candidate and it shouldn't be about the colour of their skin. So why do you have to force a black manager on, onto that shortlist, if you like? Well, I, I don't think it's always been about the best candidate. You know, I think, I think the amount of times... I've heard so many people say, oh, manager gets job because they're great in the yeah, interview. Yeah. Not because they're actually the best managers. You know, I'm sitting here, you know, not working at the moment. Obviously, I want to get back in. Mm. But you look at what I've done at my managerial career, especially at Blackpool last mm. year, there's no reason why I should be getting in, in, interviewed for jobs. You know, and sometimes it's not that easy. Mm. I look at John Barnes, you know, went to Celtic, mm. Kenny, came back to Tram. <coughs> you know, he's, he's got a wealth of football knowledge. But now, can't get through, through the interview. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, just what, it's just an even keel. We want an, you know, an even keel. Give us a chance. If we've got the same qualifications, mm. Give us an even chance in order in order to do that, you know. And uh, on the other hand, you, you, like Paul says, <coughs> you've got to have the qualifications. You can't just put them in because you, or we've got to put a black candidate in because he's black and he should get a job. <coughs> you've got to have the qualifications. You know, you've got to be at the same level as everybody else going for the job. Can I ask you, Dion, about Jason Roberts has been quite forthright on this issue. At the moment, he says things are getting worse. Uh, it's been about 30 years since black players were involved in the game en masse, and I think we are now at the point where we have to go to the government and go open and be public about this thing. Yeah, that's, that's incredibly strong from Jay, but that's the way he is. He's a very uh, um, opinionated man. Um, I, I do think something has to be done, Dan, yes. I think there, we do have to go to the, the, the hierarchy, so to speak, and, and maybe make some changes so it's a little bit more of an open mind, a little bit um, easier for, for us guys to get in at the top jobs. Yes, we get the jobs that are not quite at the top, but we should be given more of a chance to, uh, <clears throat> to do that or put on the same, like I say, level in order to, in order to get those jobs as well, yeah. Paul, I know you're keen to get back in, into football. Can I ask you this? Do, do you think that there are jobs that you have got, not got, or interviews that you have not been given because of the colour of your skin? <sighs> I'd hate to think so. I, I really would. Um, but you, you, can, you can never tell. I'd, I'd hate to think in the 21st century... Yeah. That, as you said before, right, Dan, about if you're good enough, you know, I mean, I went from Macclesfield to MK Dons to Blackburn, mm -hmm. so I'm managing the Premiership within three years, all because of what I'd achieved in those previous two years. Um, but, I'm, sh you know, it's hard to say that the people are racist and won't give you a job because you're black. I hate to think that's the case. But it does make you wonder why there's not so many black managers and coaches. And when you think about the players who are losing to the game, you know, the likes of Wrighty mm. and Les and, you know, Sol Campbell, people who have worked with best managers, played with great players, have a vast knowledge of football. Why are they not staying on and doing their coaching badges? Why are they not going mm. into the next level, which is management? Dion, uh, one final point, if I could ask you this. Garth Crooks, uh, again, a man of strong opinion, <laughs> a call for the Football League chairman, uh, Greg Clark, to consider his position because you mentioned the Rooney rule. He didn't bring up the Rooney rule at the league's AGM, having promised to do so. I mean, these are, these are changes which, you know, Paul and, and many others would yeah. say have to be even thought about and, and possibly yeah, and, implemented. And, and to what Paul said, if, you, if, you, if nothing's been... If it's not being spoke about and the issue hasn't been dealt with, your, your mind does tend to wander and think, hold it, is, mm. is, is there something there or is there not something there? We want to believe that there isn't. But if it keeps happening mm. and the same thing keeps happening and you keep losing out on jobs and they don't mention it and it's now brushed under the carpet, then you start to think, hold it a minute, maybe there is something yeah. there.
Jen, mm. thank you very much for your honesty and your insight. And we'd love to see you back in a in a dugout somewhere pretty soon. And you've never <laughs> yes. been in a dugout. Come it's on, the it's, 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 it's great to hear from Paul. And, <laughs> and, uh, I'm sure you can share your views on that as well on the BBC Sport website. Um, continue to send those in throughout the week. Thank you to these two. And don't forget, Football Focus back 10 past 12 on BBC One this Saturday. We'll see you soon.